Hey, and welcome to Growing Trees from Seed with Jeremiah Johnson, 84. Today's video, we're looking at the mystical spiral trees of Sedona. I'll be hiking out in Sedona, Arizona, seeking out these unique spiral trees said to be caused from the power that emanates from the Sedona vortexes. With over a hundred different hiking trails in Sedona, I've chosen today to focus on one main trail. This trail surrounds two main vortexes around Bell Rock and Courthouse, called the Courthouse Butte Loop. And today we'll be hiking out searching these spiral trees and looking towards what we can figure out about these spiral trees, how they were created, and in general just looking at the beauty of the spiral itself. Typically a vortex is known as a funnel or a shape created by a whirlwind of water or air, wind. This can be seen in a tornado or when water circles a drain. Sedona's vortexes are known to be swirling centers of subtle energy coming from the surface of the earth. The power that emanates from the vortex is known to produce some of the most remarkable energy on the planet. Juniper trees and other trees will then respond to this energy in a physical way revealing a high intensity spot where the energy from the vortex is the strongest. The stronger the energy, usually the stronger the axial twist and the trees will have in their branches. Some people believe that these vortexes are able to interact with the person or life force inside the energy field. The energy can then resonate with them, strengthening their inner being, especially if you're a very sensitive person. In this one area, there were a numerous amount of spiral trees, including this incredible tree right at the edge of the cliff. This is truly an incredible spot, with tons of spiral trees and an incredible feeling of energy. I was inspired to create this video for you and share it with everyone, just to show the magic and wonder that Sedona has to offer. It truly is a beautiful spot and a great place on this blue planet. With a wide range and incredible variation of landscapes from the Oak Creek Canyon area in the south all the way past to the north canyons of Grand Canyon. Vibrant red rocks, incredibly bright clear blue skies, lustrous open spaces and green vegetation. But Sedona also holds one of the very unique and unexplainable feelings that is very unique to itself. You can feel it when you're there and you can experience it when you leave. And I've heard many times from many different people that there's an energy here and like no other on earth. And that if you have good intentions and a clear mind, you can excel your journey and experience vast transformation. I myself experienced incredible mood elevations, lifting my spirits to great new heights. I was very energized after leaving Sedona and experienced incredible bursts of creativity days after leaving the area. I'm very fortunate to have been able to visit Sedona, and I'm looking forward to my return. I want to thank you all for watching this video and taking the time to sit down and check it out. We've got a lot of upcoming videos coming out with more videos on growing trees from seed, as well as interesting Jeremiah Johnson 84 videos, where we're getting back into the season with new vegetables to be grown and a lot more space on the balcony. And if you enjoyed today's video and you haven't already done so, please hit the subscribe button to be notified of upcoming videos and other interesting tips and tricks for growing trees from seed. Thanks again, I hope you enjoyed. See you next time.